okay I'm preparing to remove the uh, nuts from the end of the camshaft pinions the main thing to notice is that they are both stamped with an L marking and that means that they are left hand thread most importantly okay so they undo uh, the way we would normally do a nut up the second thing to notice about these is that they have been attacked by I'm guessing a uh, cold chisel um, so I can't actually get the um, I can't actually get the socket on these I'm gonna have to just file down some of the edges that have been turned up before I can actually get the nut on uh, the socket on then I am going to uh, lock the engine again and sorry my mind's elsewhere because I'm just looking at these strange timing marks that someone's punched in hmm. okay on uh, close inspection those are the standard factory marks timing marks it's just that someone's added a couple of center punches to the original factory marks just to uh, you know to make sure they can see them basically right I've locked the uh, engine again through the conrod I've set my impact driver to clockwise rotation I've deburred these nuts so that the socket fits and hopefully they will come off without fighting back there we go that's one and there's two all right now the nuts are removed then what we're going to do is we're going to pull these sprockets off there's a special puller that screws into the, the two threaded holes and we'll pull the, uh, the pinions off right so I've got the puller inserted into the inlet uh, cam pinion so you've got these two bolts that screw actually into the cam wheel itself into the pinion and then we've got the large large bolt that goes through onto the actual camshaft and so hopefully by doing this up it will serve to pull the pinion off the camshaft. Yeah. Okay, and that's the uh, inlet uh, pinion off. And now we're going to do the same for the exhaust. The only difference to the exhaust is obviously there's a that's a solid uh, cam ending and that's got a big uh, hole in it which is where the advance and retard goes for the ignition so we've got these two uh, little spacers and they go in uh, and then simply to so that when we do this central bolt up we're not going to damage the end of the of the camshaft right We've uh, removed the uh, pinions from the camshaft and now we're going to remove the uh, idle pinion which is held on by a circlip. So we've got a pair of uh, external circlip removers, small ones. I think they're small enough. For, oh, might not be small enough for that. Right, I'll have to use these. These are the smallest I've got. They're just... Yeah. No. Wah. Hey, and off it goes into a fifth dimension, which is in fact about four feet away over here. Right, in fact, I must buy a new pair of uh, circuit pliers because these are quite thick and they. Uh, I won't go in smaller circuits. Anyway, 
Right, we've removed the circlet, so the uh, we've got the washer, and then the idler simply slides off. Great, and then we're going to remove the key from the crankshaft, and then we can take the I, the uh, the main pinion off. Right, so we've removed the key and the crankshaft. So all that remains is for us to get now is to get the timing pinion off the crankshaft. Now that is a bit of a nightmare to get off unless you have the special tool specifically designed for getting timing pinions off. It's got these three jaws which are spring loaded and as you screw this milled section up it closes the jaws. So what we're going to do is Hmm. Although I haven't got, of course we haven't got the, uh, let me damage that, I if I put a, one of those, might put one of those in, yeah. Oh. Right, okay, and then we do this knurled nut up and it clamps the jaws at the back of the time and pinion. You really need a special tool because there's not enough room to get a three-legged puller behind there. So you really want this one there. And then all I do is, um, I know the nut's probably out of camera, but I'm just going to do up the central bolt and that will then slowly pull that uh, time and pinion off. Right, I've uh, removed the three stator studs uh, from the timing case and um, I've also uh, removed the, the nut that uh, the cable goes up through but I've realised that the uh, as I've undone it there's only a couple of threads uh, of it left it's obviously snapped off and half the thread is still in Side the casing so that's going to be very very hard uh, to uh, get the remains of the thread out but we'll have a go uh, oh and I've undone the three studs that hold the uh, the idler shaft on intermediate gear pinion uh, but the pinion the, the shaft doesn't want to come off so I've left it there and I'll take it off when uh, when the rest of the engines on the bench and the very, very last thing I'm going to do is, rather belatedly, I'm going to remove the oil filter. So it's loose. It's a dear old 15th, 16th spanner. Uh, socket comes off. Spring behind it. Uh, with the long oil filter. Yeah. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the oil filter. Out of, the, um, out of the bike okay and that's it that's as far as we're going to strip the uh, crankcases going to take the whole thing off the engine stand now move it onto the bench and then start splitting the cases <laughs> 